This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Kevin Davis. This we are. Oh my God, I can't even. Who talk are you? Right Who now. are we? Because it's so hilarious. <laughs> Music love life. Okay. Welcome to another episode. Uh, Crystal has promised us she's not going to be on her phone so much today. But immediately, as the camera turned on, because she was I on her was phone. pulling something up, oh, okay. I was pulling up something. It was pertinent. It was, Crystal's was. mad at me. No, I just you know I feel like we all have our a right to our social media posts. Okay, and this is our this is where we all share. But if my if if I put something on my Facebook post and you don't agree with it. You can state your business and then be on your way. But um, is it your post? It is my post. Do you own it? It's my. I do. Mark Zuckerberg. Well, actually, oh, right. yeah, yeah, he does. He's, you, he he's licensed made several it. commercials about the fact that he's invaded our privacy. It's business. public. It's on my timeline. It is. But <laughs> I said I made a statement, and I would love to hear what our listeners think. That the Notebook to me is first of all. Have you guys seen? Have you seen the Notebook? No, I like vagina. I have, I've seen the Notebook many times. What does? Vagina have to do with seeing the notebook. I just feel like. In fact, you might get more vagina if you watch the notebook. No, 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 no. Girls don't want a guy that's that's like them. That's not true. You uh, want they, someone that will watch like it with you. I, I, no, they don't. Yes, Contraire, you do. mon frere. No. Thank you, Kevin. No. Speak up. <laughs> Speak up, Kevin. <laughs> Did he say you hated him and saying you messed up? Okay, well, this, is, this is why I'm going to read you what he what he put on my post. So I was I was up the other night. Actually, it was last night, mm -hmm. and I happened to watch it again. Like it was like midway, and every time I watch this, movie how many times have you seen this movie? Probably seven <laughs> And I cry every time I see it Like it's just so touching It is a beautiful It right. is To me it's the most It's, it's the most impactful My heart is gushing <laughs> Love story Okay So I post it I can't watch it without crying No matter how many times I watch it So a lot of my female friends And even some male friends Might I add Liked it and commented That they had the same experience Well I mean we're in Atlanta So male friends mm, Will they identify as You know what These men in, in question Identify as straight in fact, they're married. Both of them are married. Okay? Mm, okay. No, no, no. So Kevin comes on here and says, now this movie is a beautiful love story that shows the basically the definition of unconditional love, right? It, <laughs> no it's, such it's, thing. It's, yes, it is. It's no very such deep. thing. So it involves a couple that it, you see their entire life story. Not to give it away for anyone who hasn't seen the How notebook. old is it? It's old. Oh, there's no, old. It's, <laughs> not, it's not the point. Yes, it's still very been impactful. At least it always years. will be impactful. The Here, point here's is, the thing. I'm never going to see it. Spoiler. Okay, so it's all... The, 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 the mother ends up getting... The woman ends up getting Alzheimer's and the husband continues to love her through and he, he, he just will not give up on her and he How continues to... How could you spoil that for me? Continues the love story. So it's basically you see him going. She's in the hospital. She's lo she's losing her memory, and you are watching him deal They're with. They're holding it. hands. So Kevin comes on my yeah. page after I say something about a beautiful film like that, and says all that hand holding and romantic fighting, basically just undermining everything I said. So I say, scram, get off my page. Right. And he does not. He continues. He says, unrealistic <laughs> fairy tale of at least 50 years summarized in two hours. All movies are a, a, a summarization of a larger period of time condensed into a smaller package. So that's irrelevant. And second of all- Have you ever seen 24? That show, what they actually did was the way that it worked was. It's a show. It's not a movie. Okay. Okay. So, so he just keeps like acting like it's not. You're ignoring the the, the fact that it's a movie that's about something that's very serious and just being very condescending and asshole like. Oh no. Yeah. Read, read the last part. Read the he last part. He kept on. He would not get yes. off the page, and so I, I, you know, of course, and no one else is saying anything like him. Uh, <laughs> so I, one of the guys said that it is criminal And I asked him did it make you, him cry And he said it made him t just sniffle a little Not cry all the way Everyone is saying how, you know, how beautiful the movie is Kevin continues the, That move. first of all This is so sexist, okay That movie gets y'all emotional And there are, men, re there are men responding So I guess people. he meant Maybe so that movie gets y'all emotional, and by the end of it, you're either having sex or questioning your relationship. 
okay, he well, totally okay, missed let me the ask point you a of the movie. At any time, did either one of those emotions happen to you? Did you have sex after watching the Notebook? I did not. Never. You've never, you've never, you've never watched the, the, it the Notebook. It doesn't make you want to have sex. It actually, it actually reiterates what true love should be, which lets me know that he sex. doesn't get that. So look though. What? Hold on. Sex is <laughs> a part of a, lo- a it's large a part, part of love. it, but it's not the, the most the, part. The no, most important part. This is about. Being together through thick and thin, and someone that really loves you, having loving you unconditionally. You would do through, that, which yes. means if she about, wasn't having sex, then she was questioning the relationship. What if they went broke? Would you unconditionally love them through that? Yes, broke, broke. I'm talking about broke. Is like, he coming back? He's on his way back. He might not ever. He make would it back. be on his way back. He's I don't believe that. Poor house, Mortimer. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, he's like, he's he like, you make enough money. Well, that's a bad attitude, <laughs> and I don't think that that means he doesn't love me. And so, See, questioning your relationship. Now, it, so wait a minute. So the condition is they have to love you. So that's not unconditional. I mean, just go with it because you know you're wrong. No, I don't. I think and I think a good marriage. Both people love nope, each other. Not a good marriage. Unconditional love. You said yes. you have unconditional love for this dude. Both people. And now have he's just some nigga that got to go because he don't love you. No, both people should have unconditional. They love. They should, but if yes. they don't, if you have unconditional love, that means there are no conditions that will make me stop loving exactly. this person. Exactly. He don't. But he doesn't love you. He doesn't love you or whatever. That would not happen in a, in a situation mm. where both people have unconditional love. Have you ever been in a relationship? Of course. Have you ever figured out that? That most of the time One person kind of Pulls a relationship I mean you know There are some times That they equally pull it But for the most part Usually one person Is too tired depending on the time So there may be There may, there may be times When one person pulls more And the other person pulls more. Did they They're represent true. this In the notebook I don't they think did. they did Yes they did Absolutely Oh because it was all on did. him Well no Because she got sick in the forth, head And they, he had to deal with it First of all, Alzheimer's and she is him. not. Matter of fact, no. she didn't even. We're not going to say all. She was marrying a whole other dude. No, but you know what's crazy though. Come, think, Alzheimer's is very serious. Sil- silver disease. lining. Silver lining. If your woman has Alzheimer's, that's like new pussy every single time. The excitement never I, leaves. I always want you guys to know, and I, this is what I, I did not share on my hey, page, which I plan to share <laughs> on my page later. <laughs> Something is wrong with him. No, my that's new pussy every single time. My grandma's like, hey, girl, what you doing? You look cute in them jeans. You know what I'm saying? Every single time, you can like do a pickup line every single time. Like, this hoe has like, sex on the first like night every first time. Dates. Like, exactly. First dates. Groundhog Day yeah. of that I pussy. Think- is that not a good one? Every single time. It's like a first night, one night stand. Like, she a hoe, too. Unconditional when I love. My grandmother had Alzheimer's, and as one of the last That's not visits sexy, I had though. We talking her. about young people no. with Alzheimer's. Because the-, the girl in this movie was young, right? And you know how long they were together she before was, she, she got Alzheimer's? Like, I'm pretty sure at some point. Because Alzheimer's usually affects people as they get older. You contract it like a, like a sexually transmitted disease? When, when it showed up. Because oh, okay. usually you have... The, you have the gene or trait how for old, it. How old? She I, probably like in her sixties or seventies. That's a little too old. That's not a milk no more. My grandmother had Alzheimer's, and I remember one of the last visits I went they to see her in the before bed holding hands. She passed shit, away. Dude. They were arguing in the rain. No. Why did you finish, call me? Are you gonna let me finish the statement? <laughs> Why there was you? a there was a man in there I that had you every al- day. And had Alzheimer's, and his uh-huh. wife came to watch television with him every morning, uh-huh. just like in the movie. Right. She came in to watch it with him every morning because, and he didn't know who she was. Right. But, and I remember thinking, like, wow, I don't see very many relationships like that today. That's really beautiful. She just felt like this is our routine, and even if he doesn't remember me, I'm going to continue this. So routine. was it for her, or for him? Because he don't give a shit. I think it's for both of them because the real him does. He's just not the that real him anymore. He that's the real him now. But I'm telling you that, the new love pu- that new pussy idea is amazing. I think we need to reframe this whole Alzheimer's thing. I would like to apologize to the Alzheimer's Foundation. It's any not other, Alzheimer's. Any, it's Alzheimer's. Any, but any other any other people that have and most people do have people in their family that are dealing with Alzheimer's. I would just like to apologize for the, the silver for the silver lining of that is not silver lining. There are no there you there are very few cases of young. Hey, but, <laughs> but these days Viagra's making that shit pop up into the uh, that, that motherfucker stand up anyway. You know what I'm saying? Point is, it'll stand up for a long time. You all don't get the p- as you long as not more than four Chris, hours. Go see this. a doctor. And and you know what? You guys have proved I was wrong. You, you two <laughs> should never watch the Notebook. I'm sorry that you did. I never was it's gonna watch it. Okay. It's a beautiful <laughs> film about no. unconditional love. My wife knows hey, me too. She's never asked me to watch that movie. She asked me one time. I was like, ah. <laughs> and she got, she, got, she got all she needed from that, ah. <laughs> it wasn't even an aggressive, ah. It was like, ah. Eh. And then she's like, oh, well, no. That's why something else. <laughs> I, I, asked, I, I asked my significant other to watch it. He said no. And I said, well, can I just tell you about it? He said no. No, I don't want to know. I thought it was Kevin, how many times have you seen it? For that. How many times have you seen it, Kevin? I've seen it a few times. Really? Yeah. What is wrong with you people? You people, I like it. And I'm I talking about black to... people. <laughs> Man. 
<laughs> you got it too emotional already. Black people are already yeah. too emotional. Y'all don't need to watch. Why are you constantly <laughs> calling us black people? You're not black. We are. But how are you, you gonna get offended? Well. By, how are you gonna get offended? You by, are too. I didn't say I wasn't. You be trying to leave yourself out. I'm of the not. Now. I'm not. I'm See, black too. We're black, but I'm saying you people because I'm talking to y'all. You people. Yeah, you be choosing your beige though, man. You, <laughs> Who were you talking it about? Depending when you on said when he get tan or not. He said y'all. I know. He's my black people too. No, I was talking about women. Oh. oh my God, he's sexist. Okay. We've already. I am not. You are. No, you, you, Kevin. You are. You have no accountability. Condescending to women. I, no, I am not. You are. I'm saying it's a beautiful film, right? Really? But you think that that two hours is supposed to be your everyday life? First of all, and how you, you know you what think I think? This dude, you don't, you don't think that this dude loved this woman and looked over at some point and just said, you know what? Will you just be quiet for a second? Of course. He called her a bitch when he said it too. He though. did not call he her did. a bitch. He said, bitch, well, goddamn, shut, you stressed. Uh, of course, well, that's, no one's saying that there's not trouble in life, but what we're saying is at the end of that, that type of love is very rare. What was that? No, what I, no, what I'm saying is there is unconditional love all around you. There is not. There's no such thing. There as really love. is. That's there is not true. unconditional. No, I'm I'm people don't love each other that I am way. Not a Nobody pessimist. loves people anyone unconditionally. Lo- How many people do you know in relationships? A few. Quite a few. Or would you say would you say you say know something. more people in relationships than not? No, I know more people not in relationships, but the people that I do know in relationships... Do you know more women? I don't know if they would do what was done in that film or what I saw that woman actually do at my grandmother's uh, nursing home. Very few people would go to those extremes with someone they love. My mother my mother no, no, went no. visited her mom every, almost every day. But that's a that's not a... That's different. Mothers, I think yes. Someone, I think most people would do that okay, for their parents. I, I don't you. know about a significant other. Right. I think if someone was in love with someone that had a mental illness... Then nine times out of ten, that person would be there. Oh, Hell, in America, people with mental illness get their guns back. But maybe that's a different conversation. I think Cecil would be at the club. I don't think he'd be at. Well, not only that, I just don't I, think I most people even get there. to a point where most people would leave a person over things much smaller than them having. That's not an easy thing to go through. Like it's a very difficult disease to even with a parent. So a significant other that you haven't been with that long. Say you marry someone in your forties. And, you know, 12 years into it, they get Alzheimer's. And, I don't those know. Are, and that's something that you can't necessarily plan for. I'm no, pretty sure when you met that person, you found them attractive. You didn't know that they'd be a nutcase in 10 years. But, hey, shit happens. I didn't say right? that. That is not a nutcase. No, yeah. people, that's if horrible. you're, it, if 10 years goes by, if 10 years goes by and you're the same person that you were when you met that person, not a nutcase. It, there's no way. That's not a nutcase. That's not a nutcase. Poor, but, poor but, choice I'm of words. saying you just, you, your mind goes off. Oh, Kevin, change. you offended me. That's a poor choice. Of all, right. No, he didn't. But well, I will you, say this. You don't I, think you're a nutcase? <laughs> no. I will you say like that. I don't think no. that either of you should watch The Notebook. I'm Again, not going I'm to. I'm sorry that you did. I, but I, I, I was I, tricked. No, I was tricked one time. What's the movie with the guy who died, but he had already written like 40 letters to his girl and like she found them later and like it was this like is, this whole. This is The Notebook. No, but no, this is not, that wasn't The Notebook. That's not the He note. wrote a bunch of letters and his mom, her mom kept all no, the letters. No, that's a different one. one. No, this about died. It's like yeah. P.S. something. Uh, yeah, P- I know what you're talking about. P.S. I love you or something. Maybe yeah, so. That, I got yeah. tricked into watching that and that was my... You got f- tricked into it? Yes. How did you get tricked? What the fuck? I'm, I'm not writing you no letters for after I die. You can... St- like, what? That's some stalker type. <laughs> that's some, some Grim Reaper stalker <laughs> shit. First of all, it's kind of <laughs> weird actually that you're still doing this after you're dead. Like, nigga, just die so I can go get some new dick. What? Like what are you talking the about? The dude Sex died. Is not, but that's what? not the dude died. She should be able to go get new dick. You don't think so? But she, he, but oh my god, he, what a creep! Like nigga, die, just die, fast, die no, fast. He wrote, he wrote all these letters to keep her mentally enslaved he and perpetual. Not. Keep he that shit on lock. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it on lock for well, years. That is actually, oh, when I idiot. think about it, that's kind of worse than haunting. That one of is life. what kind of shit? Yeah. What kind of nigga are you? Stop I'm it. still communicating to Freaking you beyond idiot. the grave. You love that movie, didn't you? I did love that See? movie. It's beautiful because you'd want you that gave her something so that he was there with her still. I will say this: I'm not talking about that anymore with you guys. I will admit that Kevin was right about the mental illness, which again, we do not. We're not nutcase. That was a we love choice mentally of words. ill people. Hey, what? So what? What you said? We love that, mentally no, ill people. We love them. When you said that people are using mental illness as an, as an escape. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Roseanne, we know that Roseanne made some very derogatory tweets, actually racist, just straight out racist tweets mm-hmm. last with last week, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then one of her, she's thrown out a bunch of excuses, one of them being that she was on Ambien. Of course, the makers of Ambien came out and said, hey, 
That's not racism is not one of the symptoms. That's probably the only thing that's not a symptom of right, being but, right. right. They acknowledge there ain't no bleeding, okay. <laughs> oral bleeding, death. <laughs> insult them too. So, um, but she also said that well, she is she has now. she has mental illness and she has multiple personalities. Oh and wow. I yeah, didn't see that. She, 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 she's reaching. So I was watching the, epi- the, epi- the most recent episode of Bill Maher where he had Charlemagne on and, and a few other people. And he's saying, you know, people keep using the mental illness as a scapegoat for anything that they do. Kanye. The mental illness card gets played more than Kanye the race card. Kanye just used it. And so and that's I why don't he, like it either. That's why he said black people um, had a choice for slavery because he has mental illness. So I, would, I, will, I will give you that because I thought that, you know, as some of these school killings, you know, you were just like, it's too much. Everybody's I'm, using the mental illness as a, mental illness as a scapegoat. But you, you, maybe you're right. Maybe it is a little bit much right now. I'm just saying, man, out of all the people in relationships, how many of those people are with somebody that's crazy? If I it, think a lot if, of people. If, if you're not crazy, then you're with someone that's crazy. If you don't think, your, your, if you don't if think that your spouse one, is crazy, okay. then you're the one. So you're saying half of the, the country is At mentally least. ill. So in this room, <laughs> minimum. But in this room, the three of us, how do we do it? Is somebody half crazy? Who's crazy in here? Well, we already know that you're definitely one. There may be two, but you're definitely one. Wow. Um, I don't think anybody in this room got <laughs> any room to talk. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm fine. Are you motherfucker? I'm perfectly right. fine, I think. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, hey, but I'll give it to you. You were right about and then, that. And then make it so bad. So I, Kanye album, mm-hmm. right? Um, the album's called Yay, but on the cover he says, I hate being bipolar. It's awesome. Yeah. It's a little bit more of that Kanye. Yeah, but that's bullshit. Corny and humor, I don't and I don't right? like I don't before we even talk about the album itself. No, because people say Kanye's mentally ill. No, fuck that. Listen to what I'm saying though. I don't <laughs> like the framing of it. Just like I tried to frame Alzheimer's as being new pussy every day. That was silly, of mm-hmm. course. We I, 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 we all laughed about it. it was so hilarious. now you offended? No, we all, we all laughed. It was hilarious. I didn't laugh. The listeners laughed. It was hilarious. We all, I did not we all laugh. enjoyed that moment together, right? But I didn't laugh. the thing is, though, it was a joke. I think the, the same reason Kanye went to TMZ and said slavery was a choice, even though that's not what he really meant, mm-hmm. it was just to grab people's attention. I agree. The same reason he said he believes Donald Trump is whatever, make America great. It was just to, to get eyes. This, again, is that same thing. Uh, I'm bipolar. He said on, on the first song that um, it's a superpower. Yeah. I think that that's fucked up because what yeah. he's doing is he's making a lot of people who are suffering mm-hmm. feel like that. It's like he, he's going to say, oh, well, I'm, I'm just taking away the marginalization. But the problem, though, is that there really is a, it's an issue with being yeah. bipolar. Yeah. And it needs treatment. It's yeah. not a superpower. Right. right. It, it needs treatment. And, right. and by, by writing the narrative that it's a superpower, it's almost like, oh. He's trivializing let- the, the, the fact that people dealing with that mental illness go through a lot. Right. Some of them don't get actual medical attention. They right. self-medicate. Right. And it's very serious. I agree with you. It's, 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 and it's just a grab attention. It's a marketing tool. Exactly. Like, it's, 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 it's on yeah. his album cover. Yeah. Like, nigga. It's whack. But it's, it's him, too. And maybe I it was is. being, it's, I think it's authentically him and maybe I'm reading <laughs> too much into it. Do we know what is authentically I him? I don't know. Because I, I think I think I half of the stuff don't. that he does is for attention, and he's like a tortured. He's a he, narcissist, he, megalomaniac yeah. type. But I don't, I don't know that bipolar I mean, is those his are issue. Big words. No, yeah. but no, but those that those, they accurately yeah. are who he is. Though they look are. him up if, if you have time. Put us on pause. Look up those words. Like eight headlines uh, <laughs> use those exact <laughs> words about him. Like I just, yeah. I just feel like it was it's 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 shitty because that. Bipolar is a is a problem that I think a lot of people are are dealing with and trying to come to terms with, and mm-hmm. some people have, won't even admit that they have it. Some people right. are undiagnosed, right? And now it's people. like, well, there's no reason for me to go get treatment. I'm a superhero, and of course, no nobody's saying that after hearing that album. But it's it's the planting of the seed, right? So then social but, media runs with that, and okay, I think mental so, illness on, is one of well, our biggest issues. Period. It's one of our biggest issues in this mental culture. Illness? Yeah, mental illness. Yeah, it's it's horrible. So when you use that as a a, a marketing tool. It's really it's of the times. I, I don't know yeah. if you. That's what's, it's, I don't know big, if it's a big deal. S- I don't know if he's necessarily selling bipolar. It's on the album but, cover. Yeah, uh, it's on the damn cover. You're selling and, it, and the, and the picture has shit to do with being bipolar. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> right, it does. And, and he's like it. I said, I think this is part of the part. Maybe I'm just a fan of Ye and oh, I'm no, no. looking for the art so, in it. Are y'all ready to get to the album? Are you want to talk we more about? The, you want to do the album review? Yeah. Okay, album okay review? but hold on. Before we get to the album review, because um, there's been a lot of people won't listen to it because of the statements that he's made. Don't right? Care. Don't care. He's about made. That. I'm, I'm just saying he's made a lot of racist, intra-racial. Like it's hard for him to be racist and be black against black people, but he's managed to do it. He made racist statements. When? 
The black well, people the, the just slavery was choose a choice. to be a, a slave yeah. is a that, racist that, statement. That's not a racist statement. A lot of people statement. were offended that by that. That is a racist How statement. How is that racist? I, I think it's the very basis of racism by assuming that people, that there was something that black people did to deserve to be in that situation. That's not what he said. He said it was a choice. A choice is not the same thing as deserve. So that's saying that if you did not choose to leave, then you chose to stay. Slavery technically was a choice. You could die. So slavery was a choice. No, no, don't don't just shake it off and act like well, that's not no, real. Well, like, no, like, because I saw people on the internet talking about how Killmonger said the same shit. Bury me with my ancestors. Like, death is better than bondage. Like, so those were his choices. Death, bondage. Death it is. Fuck but, it. But that's not that's what, what he decided. That is ridiculous. But that's not what Kanye was even saying. It's obviously symbolic of the new slaves idea that Kanye's been preaching for a long time. Mm-hmm. He just was, he was not articulate. He was inarticulate I in the way that he, that's what he meant. that he expressed it. I think he was it. just trying to get Kanye attention and he was on high. Kanye became an genius long time Kanye ago. Kanye has been talking about this shit forever. It. That's what the whole, that's why he came out with the clothing line he says because he wanted <laughs> to prove that the, the really it was just a, it was a, a it was ego thing. It was for him, yeah. Right? So, but, he, but remember the, the idea was that he was going to prove that you didn't have to be a big designer and 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 we all caught up in this materialistic thing, but then I charged seven hundred dollars as a state. He is the ultimate materialist. The idea, though, is the new slave idea that we're all mental slaves now, and that slavery as a choice was really supposed to be foreshadowing for how we are today. And it was just inarticulately do- inarticulately done. Uh, the f- I don't think America, it's racist. Make America great again. But uh, America needs to be great again. It's, it's not as good as it used and to be. This, and the Nazis. Patch. I just think he's a person that has definitely alienated his own culture. But, you know. And that may be true, but I think it's difficult to not think, especially to be a forward thinker and not be crazy in some way, especially if you're bad at words or re- you react to He's not quickly. bad at words. He's very good at words. Uh, when he wants to be. I don't think he's. I don't when think he, he wants to be. I think that his emotions control his artic- his ability to articulate. And I think when he gets more emotional, it's even more difficult. Yeah. Like those rants he goes like on George stage. Bush hates like black yo, people. you ever argue with somebody from Chicago? Um, hmm. That Maybe. shit went on. If you you would know because that shit would go on for hours, nigga. Like they I will have, not. I dated a guy from they Chicago. They will not not. They won't. You can't, can't tell can him as, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to go backwards. Can we count as a body? Is that at least one? That's one. Because look at her face. So we got at least one. <laughs> you know, the face got tight. Like, is there one? She was married. That's is two. There one? That's two. You're with somebody now. You've been with her for a while. That's three. So we're at least at three. We're going <laughs> to mark me we... down for three, Kev. We're going to keep building that. But go yeah, ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> did I throw you off? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm man. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Well, let me ask you, Crystal. Uh... Crystal, did, did you listen to the album? I listened to some of it. Are you protesting? Here, all of it. No, I'm not protesting, but I'm not a. I am a fan. You're of not a his fan of old, Kanye West. I'm a fan of his I old. I like the old album. Kanye. He, yeah. he prophesized this. He did. I I I love his old album. His old first two. You don't think Kanye is I'm special? Off. But that part of I think his, he's. I think part he, of his genius is being crazy. To me, I think I that's think. a very that you know what that that encourages people. Like you ever see those those uh co- those comedians that say, you know what, if I go to jail, <coughs> I'm gonna act crazy because I know that I keep somebody from you know doing something booty. to me. So I'm just gonna act. I'm just gonna just come out and act crazy because mm-hmm. we know that's gonna get attention. I think that's suggesting the same thing. A lot of people I'm just do gonna that. Act cra- but I don't acting think, crazy I'm not is a defense. Applauding that, not applauding that. He knows that he he some of the. St- I think he knows what he's doing. And he's using I that. I do think he knows what he, he's doing. So too. I'm saying he's right. using that as a way to make people think, even feed into the idea that he's a genius even more. Because I'm just so out of my mind. I'm sick drink. Yeah, like I, nah, okay. I don't think he's a genius. I think that he's very gifted. He's right. very talented. Matter of fact, yeah. you remember the New Slaves video? How he had it was just his face, and he had it show had his team showing it on the sides of buildings, right. like. Like I'm not gonna let the media censor it. It's gonna right. that's some evil genius ass type of shit. That's I some Doctor Claw just, Gargamel ass type of. Who I mean, he, it didn't he, he put himself on. He 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 did. I think with this album, I felt like like did you like 808s and Heartbreak? Yeah, kinda. Not as much as the first two. I feel like this album is the sequel to 808s. I Why do you say that? It, it sounds. It's a somber. It, it, mm-hmm. Like melodically, it's very somber. Right? Kind of stoic, but it's a little happier. It's like 808s plus Dark Twisted Fantasy. It's I would combine those two albums and you'd have this. Or maybe Pablo, I don't know. 
Yeah, but I, I didn't listen to any of those. Yeah, just, no, no, to no, me, dark to me, it kind of sounds. You didn't like listen that. to Dark Twisted Fan? What? Mm-hmm. It was because he's got some. He's definitely got some bars in there. He's got some lines. He's melodically a lot of it is there. Right. And then he's got his uh, moments where his bars catch your attention, or he said something that's a little jarring, mm-hmm. right? Um, and then he says some cool shit. Like we're all here Or some true shit Yeah Yeah. He says sometimes I'm thinking like George Jetson But talking like George Jefferson Okay Is that genius? I I like the album No I like like the album It's catchy What I heard I do like I think it's clever What I I heard I do like But I think think that he's very lyrical I do think that he speaks His emotion gets ahead of him Like the George Bush Doesn't like black people Or I I thought about mm -hmm. killing you because yeah. see, I think that is is all hype. Like that's yeah. that's hype. But, and because I want to kill you myself. Said, but I love myself, I about, and I thought about killing myself. So, so you know what I do to you. Right. And, but that's what I'm saying. Like he painted that. He framed the whole idea of being bipolar and maybe having some violent mm-hmm. tendencies mm-hmm. into oh, he's speaking to me. Yeah. And you mean but, tell me you ain't thought about somebody you love and thought you know I would kill this motherfucker. You know, like, I think everybody has, but I think him saying it and but, putting it in that way, I think it's dramatic. And I think it worked because people were, mm-hmm. you know, it was, oh, my God, he talks about the fact that he wanted to commit suicide and the fact that he wanted to kill the person. Is he talking about Kim? It, he knows he's very well. Kanye knows how to get attention. And I was listening to somebody that was talking, a producer that had worked with him when he first got signed, when, you know, he's first signed to Rock Nation. They were like, he's been like this. You mean Rockefeller, ever. right? Rockefeller, yeah. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. He, he's been like this. He, he, he wasn't even... He didn't even have a hit record and he would go off on tangents and rants and right. he likes attention. He's like a spoiled middle class kid that wants you know his att- wants attention all the time and that's and he's been able to do it. Once he got a platform, it's like he's throwing tan- temper tantrums all the time. So the album though, dope, oh, right? The album is, the, I, thought the album I, I thought dope. the album was dope. Yeah. I thought the album was dope. All mine, I like. That's the one with the little yeah. yeah. Um, I like the last song was about the daughters. I like that yeah, song. That's like, a, I yeah, I do like that song too. Yeah, the song. I about thought there's a cliche about growing up, and I can't treat women like that. I want yeah. to nurture that, that, them. That's now a cliche of though. Them. Dudes are, are players until they have daughters. And right. I think that's that's a cliche. I've I, I've never been that dude. So I had daughters, and it was like I don't think every dude. That's not every dude's reality. But I hear that it's so a lot much. of men's reality. But the story, the the idea behind it is mm-hmm. is good. I think. Mm-hmm. I think the overall. Yeah, I think I was a uh, a more mature. Kanye in a that weird we've never way, heard. Sometimes he's a little juvenile, but but yeah. he does. But that, that's what I'm saying. Even when he first started, you would get even uh, all falls down. Yeah, like yeah. he he he's intelligent. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? If you even listen to his lyrics, I mean, a lot. He's he speaks. He's he is very intelligent. He's very mature in his outlook, but he also is a attention whore, and so he is. You know, I, he has to keep that up. You know, as well. So, so I think the song about Ghost Town, how. I, some of the lyrics say something to the effect of, you know, I love you, but every time I try to show you I love you, I, I push you away or some shit like that. Right. Um, there was another song in there. I think it was uh, Mistakes. Was it yeah, All My Mistakes or, or something about, you know, No Mistakes, um, where, you know, he did some shit that his wife told him not to do. Right. He said right. some shit. Like, what if, yeah. what if Kim was the one that told him, don't go on TMZ? What if she was? I doubt it, but maybe. But, but that would sound. Well, I wouldn't even believe that, right? But because sometimes, it's her. sometimes the person that we with knows we're crazy. Yeah, right. Abs- most they know time, all the time. They know the shit that we're capable of. <laughs> They're hiding it. I do. You know what? I do applaud her for having his back because I think you know, however their relationship is, I think her coming to his defense to me seems the most authentic that I hear her because I feel like. You know, she loves him and she's trying to really protect him from himself with the public. Like, do I like her tweets and stuff? Yeah. But do they run their own Twitters or is that somebody else tweeting? No, that's her. I think there are other people that probably do do it as well, but that was, that's definitely her, you know, talking. Cause she, she comes to his defense like a, like a, a a normal, like a wife wife trying to defend her husband, even if he's wrong. Yeah. But you still got to cause that's, you know, that's yours. So I, I get it. I think that's, like I said, I think that's the most authentic I see her. Period. So I but respect I'm, that. I'm talking about the album because y'all keep right. No, I, I, Sonically, I, I actually like the album. Yeah. It is from what I, like I said. Everything I heard, I liked. I liked the lyric. I thought the lyrics were, you know. I think it's better than Pusha's album. I haven't heard Pusha's album. Yeah, I, I, I'll give you. I feel like it's more melodic. Yeah, I like the I feel like it's more melodic. The sonics of it were, pushes. jumped back to before Pablo. I didn't like Pablo. I didn't like Jesus. So it jumped back before Jesus. I mean. 
So all the stuff that prior to Yeezus yeah, like, to me was a we'll sonic see. had a sonic level to it. I think Yeezus was just it, he was trying to be so crazy with the sounds. Yeah, Yeezus was so minimalist. It kind of you lost him. But he went back I still to the, like black skinhead. He went back to the, like, the church progressions and stuff on his chords and stuff on right. this side. And sonically, I just like it more. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because he's always been on, on teeter totter on that line of like gospel type feeling on yeah. some of his samples and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I, I like that. So I enjoyed the album again. Mm-hmm. Like I say, if this is if even that's with the it first being two, seven songs, like I still yeah. thought it was. Yeah, I thought that was awesome. Well, I heard, <laughs> I, what I heard is all the albums he's putting out this summer are going to be seven songs. Yeah. So. Tiana, Tiana's album is gonna yeah. be six. Is I'm interested to see that. What that's. Gonna I heard. Sound like. I heard. A, well, my daughter heard a snippet, and I trust her musical taste. Mm-hmm. She said it's dope. She can't yeah, wait. I so I can't it. wait either. I believe after you, after I listened to the the album that she had out before, I was like, wow. Nobody just, heard that album. Yeah. The album was dope. Yeah, yeah. there was. was a lot of good stuff on that yeah. album. Yeah. I think Sometimes she's. I like her. She's just dope. Sleep on an album, though. I mean. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, because she's so she's so popular. That's what's so weird about it, because she's so popular for her persona. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm surprised we missed out on her music. She doesn't really talk up in about body. it. Do you no. ever hear her talk about it? No, yeah. no. Mm-mm. But I think that's that. Uh, I do. But I, it's funny because I listened. I was like, I can't. I I actually am enjoying, you know, the music. I don't enjoy all the theatrics behind it, you know. But I enjoy the music. You know, I think it's probably a different. Do you guys think it's a different type of fan that would appreciate Pusha T's album, or you think it's just not? If you put them side by side, Kanye is always gonna is gonna definitely win. Um, I mean, they're different artists, so you're going to get like I don't. Out of Kanye, I kind of get fun evil genius. From Pusha, I get dark gangster bars, like dope crack selling and oh. and. Yeah, I get I get that. I haven't yeah, I that. I get that from Pusha. I I don't know, just sonically, they didn't they didn't stand up. Even though Kanye was probably responsible for a lot of the Sonics on both of them, it just sonically yeah. it didn't stand up to me. Yeah, you know, I felt I I got bored in the middle. I think Kanye saved the best for himself. I think Kanye, I think Kanye could have definitely been an evil villain. I'm I'm surprised he hasn't like become the Riddler or some shit. Is he not the Riddler? What's crazy though that I went back I went back and noticed that there was like after this is after the beef between Pusha T and Drake happened. It's not after. It's still going well, on. But I mean after the um the the third song came out. Right. I went back and listened to Pusha's album again, mm-hmm. and I didn't even realize. Listen to it the first time. Maybe I wasn't looking at the track names, but the the sixth song is "What Would Meek Do," right? And Kanye's on the song, so like that had to be like premonition for what was about to come. Oh yeah, it was definitely. And, and see, I thought because Pusha's done that before, where he's just said you know one or two lines right. about Wayne and Drake or something going on over there, right? And just kind of left it at that. So I felt like. I felt like that was him doing that again. Right. But I didn't know that he I was mean, coming with that song was, like, that what goes he was right into on, right. He was like that song goes right into That's kind of how Meek Mill did it. When he found out the information that he thought he had something on, he was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Can't right. hold it. I can't hold it. Right. And sometimes you gotta Pusha is definitely the, part of the difference between Pusha and Meek is Pusha had some information and knew to sit on it for a while before he did something with it. He was it. more strategic. I just think right. Meek is not as talented, period. <laughs> so I think yeah. even if he did it differently, I don't think he was there. He's out of that weight class. Drake, I think he and Meek could have had a better role out of that information and landed more punches than what he did. He he fumbled the execution. I don't know. It was bad. I just don't he know. He did, because really even bad. his response was late and it was weak. It was just and, whack, though. Yeah, so I don't know right, that he would have really been bad. able to That's do what it I'm better. Saying. So a week removed from the, the I guess, the, the the dust has settled. The dust has settled. But the the interesting thing is, and I think, you know, I enjoyed this conversation with a couple of publicists. So we're trying, you know, Drake has not responded. I, I did hear that Adidas uh, got well, involved let's, in Let's that. be clear. We're recording this on Sunday. Right. June 2nd. Was that? June 3rd. Yeah, 3rd. 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 So, so he still might. It might come out before, before you hear now this. and Wednesday. Yes, this right. This is true. It probably will. Because before, okay, so I heard that Adidas asked him not to because basically. The, not to respond. Not to respond because the Adidon campaign was about to roll out this summer. Now that's definitely changed Let's a stop lot. right there. How do y'all feel about that in this diss, him going after something that was potentially a moneymaker, like real business, not rap no more. We're mm-hmm. not talking about rap. We're talking about how you feed your family. Not that Drake needs more money, but there are people involved in this campaign that aren't yeah. as rich as Drake that mm-hmm. now have to scramble to try to figure something out. Maybe people's jobs that were on the line on this campaign. How do y'all feel about Pusher actually going after that as opposed to just the rap? I think it was a casualty of war. I don't. I think it just, I don't think he 
purposely tried to destroy the the Adidas campaign. I think that he put the name of the shit on the the song. Yeah, but it's also a yeah, it's a mix of the but sun it's also, and the, you know the yeah. It's, it's, like why would he name this thing after the sun that he was trying? to I think to it's hide. dope that he no. I think is actually he was planning to share with the world about the sun on this album, and now they've that. had to switch things around. Oh, so that was actually so, he so was planning what, on rolling. All that out All the at the same was time. Come out, right. It was a marketing tool. I'm going to share that I have a son. The, the shoe was named after him. That's why he said the press run. You're, you're planning to use your son as a part of the press run because yeah. the son's name and the song and the and the shoe. And then he's probably going to do pictures of him and the son. All that. Was so going you're together. cool with all that about how that's going to affect the entire Adidas campaign. You're cool with bringing that I, into it. I think as a public as a publicist or a public relations pr- practitioner, you know when you work with certain artists what the what the possible liabilities could be connected with that artist. Now, I know mm. that Adidas didn't ever shitty. assume that that could happen. That's not something that you would see, but you do know rappers get into I understand, but what, back I, and forth. but what I'm saying is like, for instance, when I was going about Cardi being the one, mm-hmm. I don't want Cardi to not get money. I just right. don't want her to be the one. Right. So basically, imagine if if me saying I didn't want it to be the one also was a canceling factor in her entire career, which is, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a difference in me not wanting to be the one and yeah. me canceling her money. Well, I think that, yeah. first of all, your, your, your motive is different than Push's motive. You're a fan and she's a star. They're, they're I'm not contemporaries. A fan. I'm not okay. a fan. Oh, and matter of fact, let me say this too. I found <laughs> out that the this whole thing that started between this camp and their camp is baby's fault. Yeah, I, I, yeah. This yeah, is all baby's that. fault, man. I did know because because <laughs> Pharrell did a beat, did a mm-hmm. track for baby, mm-hmm. and I, I forget which one it was, yeah. but he was supposed to pay Pharrell for mm-hmm. it and never paid him. And Pharrell and Pusha are that's they close. Yeah, that's yeah, they got that's family. That's so, they yeah. got. So I I don't expect him to not ride for that. Young like, money beefs are baby's fault. I'm sure. Internal young money beefs are yeah. even baby's fault, but I don't know. I don't think that I don't think that Pusha. Hell, even was Rick going Ross after. said something about that. He did, he did, yeah. which I actually gave Rick Ross a lot of credit for. But I don't think that I think that he was going at Drake, and I think that if I go at you and we're talking and we're talking about rap beef, if something happens to get caught up in that. That's not my fault. Caught up, he put it out. It wasn't like that was just. Co- but I'm just saying, if the, it if, wasn't collateral damage, it was I think intentional. It was, I don't think his intent was to destroy the Adidas campaign. I don't think so. I think that his well, intent was just to be as clever as possible. I think that back when Ether came out and Jay Z and Nas were going back and forth, if they had back in that time, things weren't the same with sponsorships. But if say you know Nas had a, a huge sponsorship and and the song caused him to lose that, I don't think that. I think pretty much all is fair in that situation because that's it's not going to keep Drake from making money. Adidas is still going to do something. They just got to they just got to restructure. Yeah, he's got to redo his album though. From what I'm hearing, they have to go back because a lot of that was due to him coming right. out and the song. Um, ah, oh, there's a, there's actually a song that he has is out that he does talk about the it's it's I can pull up the name, but the lyrics. He does talk about the fact that he's being, he's in, you know, going back and forth in child custody. I mean, child support and with a girl he Drake calls a hoe. That? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, he calls the girl a hoe. And he's well, there like, are only a couple I... of songs. God's Plan and um, no, there's Nice a... for What, right? Hold on. I'm going to take, give you guys the name of the song. We're, I was We had a PR discussion about it. But, um, yeah, if you look it up online, it's like, man, he just really got the jump. Now how old is his child now? One, right? It's yeah, like one. one. Okay, so he's had plenty of opportunity to be able to to what? No. I, to be I able to be go probably... ahead and and say and why does he have to disclose his son? Why does he before... have to disclose? I don't. I don't oh, the song, he doesn't have to. He doesn't song. have to. Yeah, the song is called "I'm Upset." Oh, okay. I'm upset. okay. And he that... talks about that in that song, and I think people just weren't picking it up because. That it song is awful, by the way. It's a whack song. I think that's probably the worst song ever. I'm not a Drake fan either, mm-hmm. and that's probably the worst song I've ever heard of Drake. <laughs> it's, it, it, it is. It You're is a Drake kind fan? of a. You're a woman. You're a Drake no, fan? No, I, I like Drake, but it's kind of a he powder puff a record. <laughs> It is. it is. It is a powder puff tough record. I, I'm I mean, upset. I, I don't think. I didn't say I like the song. I just. I just. When I saw that he actually did address it in the song, I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. So he was planning on. Coming out and because I don't, I don't think you can keep baby secret anymore, especially when you're someone of that nah, caliber. It's gonna nah. come out. So he wanted to to do it on his own terms. After he probably made peace with the situation, because he he talked in the song, you can tell he's very frustrated. I'm not gonna go half, you know, go half with a hoe. 
He obviously it did, say, it did say something to the effect of, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta, you know, pay for everything and give her what she want, and you know, da da da. Okay, fine. No, but he just that's in the song, he says stuff. he's not gonna go half on a hoe. Picture me going half with a on a with that's, a hoe. That's normal dad stuff. Yeah, well, especially in that situation. Yeah, that's yeah. normal dad stuff. I don't. But I'm, what I'm saying is that he doesn't owe us. To nobody's kid Well it sounds like This situation's been Two years in the making And he just kind of Ran out of time Unfortunately yeah. He could have said I mean, this I don't know Maybe he, he was could have, He could have disclosed His son via social media Six months ago Maybe he Maybe right? he was in a situation and Where And Pusher wouldn't even have He, he wouldn't have had That opportunity I, I don't I don't see it that way I think maybe We don't know what was going on With the With when he got Paternity established Or any of that from what from, and what he and is he just sure it's his kid? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely his kid. They've done the DNA test. They've done a DNA test, but recently, but I I, th- I think last year. Okay, so but I'm saying there's one thing I think that people have a right to. You mentioned Jay Z and Beyonce earlier. Jay Z and Beyonce are a couple that we see them publicly, but they don't share things until they've dealt with it, right? Right. So I think if he had the situation, yeah, we still don't know who Jay Z cheated with. Right, but. Maybe he needed to make peace with it himself and get himself to a good place before he shared it with his fans. Sounds fair to me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's and I think that's fair. I also think it's fair if Pusha T found out and decided to share it. It's it's you can't be mad because someone fights and uses your own ammunition against you. I I can't. True. You know that's just part True. of. True. Shouldn't do battle if you don't want that to happen. So I think that was unfortunately. A casual, you know, like a, a collateral damage with Adidas is unfortunate, and it's probably going to strict. It's going to make the 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 um, the the proposals and contracts and the way that that brands interact with with uh, right. hip hop artists a lot different because you know they pull away brands when someone gets when you know when when someone makes a tweet that is insensitive. You know, you can get your whole you can get your whole show canceled. sponsorship canceled or your brand endorsement contract revoked. Mm-hmm. And those contracts are very specific to certain things. Right. So this is probably going to, you know, add another liability to brands looking to, you know, partner with um with with hip hop artists. But I think that's the also the client of or excuse me not the client, but you know, part of what you have to deal with in terms of social media. Information moves so much quickly now. Yeah. So much more quicker now. You can't really right? control it. You can't You yeah, as much as you like if you put something out there, then it has to be like good enough to never come back. <laughs> Right, I'm going with because it. <laughs> when it's out there, it's out there. It's out like there. it's it's immortalized. You forever, right? You can't go back and change it. Right. So you know, I, I can understand him wanting to be um, in control of that message and how that is delivered. But after two years, well, we didn't say two years. A we year don't know when, but we after, don't. Even if, if if the child is one, there was nine months of of. But we don't know when. Like I said, you don't know when he became he okay with out. the situation, and okay. and it could have been very. A lot of times, those situations are very emotional and volatile between the p- parents. So to share that with the world before you guys are in a more positive place, obviously they're in a better place if his son was going to be a part of the campaign. So that right. has to say that they're 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 able to come to that because the mother has to sign off on that mm-hmm. with a baby that's that small. Because at one point so, she was saying deadbeat dad. Or yeah. Whatever, so, so and then and there then she stopped. Yeah. There, were, there, right. And that was that was in the winter, like November of last year. Right. So. You know, that's a, he that's probably a, made his son happened. the executive yeah. producer or some shit. So this is all in his name. We this don't know. All, we don't know what he did. But, but what we do know, I think that okay, Pusha T's jab stuck harder. Right, had more damage. Those were jabs. <laughs> whatever <laughs> his sniper attempt worked. But Drake, Drake yeah, putting man. out that invoice and saying uh, charging uh, was cocky. It was it, and it was funny as hell. And it uh-huh. was and it and it had people it's clowning. So funny now. It clowning. So I'm just saying, if something happened, say Pusha T had a, a an endorsement, that could have got messed up with basically OVO sending an invoice for reviving his career. It makes him look stupid. But just because right. he won doesn't mean that you know. But that's the that's the spirit of the battle. That's hell, my point. I saw a battle recent. They white people have colonized the the rap battle too. White people? Yes, you've you've colonized <laughs> rap battle. You use yeah. that term. Here we go. Yes, that you've is absolutely... a very provocative Man, way of watch did my you eyes not, gloss over. Did you not see Jerry Springer and Ricky Lake on doing the, the battle? No, you, you ain't see no, that. I didn't. You see didn't that. see. Okay, yeah. You so there's colonized. a show. That is so funny. There's a show <laughs> on the internet where uh, pop stars or people in in pop culture. Mm-hmm. That are, I guess, on opposing sides. That's on TV. Are doing this rap beef? Yeah, it's TV. What? Method Method Man hosted. They're right. 
Right. So even know blame meth. Man. Blame meth. He's part of this. No, they just meth getting a check. Getting a check. <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah. Meth get your check. However, what is, what is this? I don't know awful. what this is. I've seen the commercials. It is awful, but it, it's it's like it's lip-sync. colonized rap beef. Tay Diggs, Tay, not, Tay, Tay Diggs went against Karuchi or something. It's like it's oh it's really God. wack. Oh my God! It's really wack. What network is this? Would you expect <laughs> Jer- Would you expect Jerry Springer and Ricky Lake to <laughs> oh, trade? So you were this serious? Is? They really did. No, the this two is, of yes, them? this actually this happened. Is really a this show. is I didn't know this was a real thing. What is happening? Right? And why did you use colonized? That's because it's been called cause. That's not rap beef. That's not the Eminem eight mile shit. That's not what that is. So did, did Eminem colonize it? Because he's white. Last my check. Nah, M- Eminem survived in that culture. He was a part of that culture. Uh-huh. He I, did you, it. I hear you, my brother. He's not cultural. Jerry Springer. I hear you, black man. Ricky Lake. Not cultural appropriation. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> so Eminem not, can do things that's not, not cultural appropriation, but if Justin Timberlake does something, it is cultural appropriation. And they're both. It dope depends to me. what Justin Timberlake is doing. They're both what? dope to me. I think they're both dope too. I have no problem with either one of them. Or Adele. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. When Adele? Just, when, when Justin Timberlake was doing Michael Jackson sound, uh-huh. cultural appropriation. Everybody wow. When Chris Brown Michael did Jackson. it, not cultural appropriation. Are you kidding me? Wow. Yes. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Kevin, that's that's. He's, dead. that's how it works. he's smiling, the rules. but he's dead serious. I, hey, that is I, so irrational. I didn't choose the rules. So are you, okay, first of all, rules. Let, let me just ask you a question. Because when, we were, when I was growing up, there weren't very many black people on television, right? Mm-hmm. So if there's any white person that I, I used to love, Heather Locklear. I Elvis tried to Presley, do, cultural appropriation. I loved Heather Locklear, right? Mm-hmm. So I would try to do my hair, which didn't work very well, by the way. But I would try to do my hair like Heather Locklear. Was I, was I culture appropriating white culture by doing that? No, you were just lost. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. So well, when we do it, it's okay. Real. You ever seen that? What was that? So white, you think you Caucasian? When what, you can't, when, you can't try to be okay. a white lady. I'm still trying to figure it's out. It's not why. about color. At that point, it's just I thought she was a sexy woman. It's not. It's not. I wasn't looking. That's I fine. wasn't looking at that age in fifth grade. Like, oh, she's white, so I can't look up to her. But that's you said not, you wanted to put your those. hair like hers, right? Black yeah, people are not, always cultural appropriation. I reject shit. that that idea the that whole, you can only look up to and admire people that are that your own race. Exactly. That's, that's freaking that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Of course it is. And if somebody admires I, Elvis Presley's a little bit different. There's a lot involved with that. But Ju- Justin, first of all, Timberland created. Justin's music. So, how is Justin responsible for that when Timberland was the mastermind behind true. it? That's ridiculous. True, to me. true, true. But I'm just saying. So we're so we're not Timberland allowed. Timberland didn't do everything. Come on, yes, black man. Did. Yes, he did. Damn, black man. damn near did. No, Justin Timberland, Timberland did the popped. dope shit. No, but NSYNC was a group that black people were behind the scenes yeah, of. Black people but, loved NSYNC. And Gone mm-hmm. is one of the most amazing songs ever. Yeah, a lot of but, those songs are dope. Yeah, but, but, but NSYNC can never be the Temptations. But what? He's not serious. He's not. He I'm can't being be. facetious right He can't now. be. He's no, not. but black people culture appropriate, culturally appropriate a lot of stuff. The, the mob thing where all the yeah, rappers we are trying to be. Al, Al Pacino. Uh, uh, hold on. This one's uh, going to... Yeah, this, a, lot, this, a lot of, lot of rappers didn't want to be Scarface. Ha- this one's going to sting. Yeah. This, this one's going to sting a lot of people. Italians have not... Uh, cussed us out about that, but this, I guess they should. They should. But no, they, do, they did a show on VH1. No, that was their show. That was Mob Wives or whatever, right? They weren't mad at black people. Right, they were selling it. But this one's going to sting though. Greeks, mm-hmm. not not the ones in in Europe. I'm talking right. about the ones at black Greece. colleges and 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 oh yeah, ooh <laughs> Greeks. Y'all niggas ain't Greeks. Stop it. Don't give me that. Wait 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 wait. wait See, wait, I knew wait, it was gonna wait, sting. Wait, wait. That's appropriating. So, the hold letters. On, so what are you saying? The, I'm saying that black people are not Greeks. <laughs> no matter how many times you get paddled on your ass. Oh my and, goodness. And take an egg and we put it in really another dude's have mouth. Some and trouble. You're not a Greek. I'm not speaking on that. Hold um, on, but look though, how about this though? How about the little cat eye thing that girls do with their makeup? Do you ever do that? Are you culturally appropriating? Are you being Asian or a cat? I'm not sure which one it is. Well, I mean weave could be that. I mean people weave? say that with weave, especially weave? blonde weave. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, I thought yeah. I thought both the cat eye and the Greek letters actually came <laughs> from Egypt. Uh, is that what you're saying? Uh, so, but then you'd have to I also think, assume you'd have to also assume I, I the thing they my stole that, our shit. You'd have to assume that the ruling class in Egypt was actually black, though, and that's not even proven, really. What there there were black people in Egypt, but were the ruling that was class the area of the world? We but were the ruling? But we don't, but, yeah, we don't, yeah, but we Arab and black is not exactly the same it's thing. Not the Egypt same at is all. a no, it's not. It's not what. You said Arab and black are not the same thing. Right. I agree. So there's there's conflicting evidence yeah. of whether or not the ruling class in Egypt mm-hmm. were actually Arab. even human. But let's not go. <laughs> let's not even go that far. But let's just say they were human. There's conflicting evidence of whether or not they were more fair skinned Arab type or where they were more dark skinned. And like there's there's, other there's so much evidence on both sides. I've, but I'm okay. I just want you to explain that if if you if you enjoy something that another culture does 
or or not even a culture, person. If a white boy wants to be a good basketball player like LeBron James, won't happen. It <laughs> it just won't happen. But that's not that's. But yeah, I could just say he's a white LeBron. <laughs> no way, it's not even possible. Come on, man, <laughs> never happened. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was like a white Serena Williams. <laughs> It'll, it'll okay, happen. so that's I'm fine with that. But okay. in the same token, if they say a black Bill Gates, <laughs> oh, I, I actually know somebody named Black upset? Bill Gates. Are we upset about that? I actually know a guy. He's a DJ here in Atlanta. Black Bill Gates. Yeah. But, black but Bill Gates. But ho. it's okay for us to that's say my, that. We got the same name. We can't so. do that. Like we, we we can't be hypocritical. That's I don't extremely think that's the hypocritical. Same thing, what? Okay. I think what it's the same thing, Chris. I think it's exactly the same thing. The cultural appropriation shit has got to. It's you got to cut this yeah, shit no, out. I, I, ew, it's I, ridiculous. It's, it is ridiculous. Everything is a remix. Everything. Everything, everything that has been done has already been done. No, because we, and for, so, for so long, like I said, we weren't even on television. So you wanted, if we we had no role models that we could see. But did, so you, did you, we have to be on television were they to come skinny, up with the sauce? We had were the they sauce skinny, before it was TV. Kevin, were they wearing skinny jeans in Egypt? Is what I'm asking e- you. I hope not. Everybody that is on television now looked up to some, even even the people that were early that were that were like the Hattie McDaniel, Sydney Portier. They had to have people that were not African American that they looked to for examples because there were none. So we wouldn't even have got in that door if there weren't. So if you have a, a role model or a mentor that's not of your culture. How is that culture appropriation? That's that is ridiculous. If that's the case, I guarantee you, Serena Williams looked up to a white player and watched her style Chris to Everett. play tennis. I'm sure she did. Tiger Martina Woods had to look at a white because there were no go- black golfers, so you cannot just Jack get Nicholas. great on your own. You can't. You cannot. I mean, you can be great on your own, but you have but to you emulate. Gotta look, you gotta, you have to yeah, emulate. You, gotta, you have to emulate. You have so to the emulate. idea that that could I, be. I'd have to hear. I had to hear Tiger Woods tell me who he thought was great. I'm sure Because it's not like he was you. the first black golfer ever. He was the first black golfer at that level. There are black, so there are black country singers. Are mm-hmm. they culture appropriate? Nelly was a country singer for a little he while. He is. He but still how, does. How do, we, how do we know that blacks didn't come up with country oh music? Oh, my God. Well, okay, Blues. so music... I can't take there, there, there has been evidence that, music, Rock and that roll. most music came... All of it. Everything. We just... Everything is ours. No, but I don't agree with that. Everything yeah, is not that's everything ridiculous. is not belong to black people. That? Mathematics is not a black invention. It was a combination of many things, right. many many civilizations and many cultures which happen to also have been black. It has so to be I don't want to erase black people from yeah. math, but, but they're not the only people right. that came up with math. Right. That's ridiculous. It's, the it, idea it has is ridiculous. to be a rational conversation. When you say things like that, it just it becomes irrational, it wipes everything out. It does. Because you're not being ra- you're, that sounds dumb as hell. Wow. So it's just, it just, mm-hmm. it just it's irrational. It's irrational. That's you're just all. Just like I just like, <laughs> what was the rational? Your whole tab horns are showing. Yeah, are they horns? What do you? What do y'all have? I am kind of enjoying this shit right here. Something about it. I is, can see the the glitter in your eye. That's yo, what I'm saying. Oh, your horns are popping out. So delicious. <laughs> oh yes. I'm crystal frustrated beyond me. It's just ignorant. Like, yeah, it's irrational. It, it's silly. But I agree with you. I think that cultural appropriation is to me not Justin Timberlake. I think that he really loves R and B. Talk to the dude. Have you ever heard? Have you ever? Have you ever talked to him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He knows his shit. It's not like it, it isn't like he's just uh, watch been why he's a, a social media guy. He's been watching what mm-hmm. people are doing. He mm-hmm. actually knows the history. He knows his shit. Right. This is this is like when LeBron does film. He looks right. at the, the film and knows how mm-hmm. certain players are going to react. Right. Justin Timberlake is that to R&B. He's mm-hmm. not like a poser. Like he just showed up one day and they gave him a little bit of information. I'll give it that. And yeah. again, Timberland. True. 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 Created the music for him. Mm-hmm. So and and. You know, I just think that, again, if if we say that everything is that way, and then the idea of saying Eminem is okay, but Justin is not because they're doing different genres of music is irrational. What say you, Hotep? <laughs> what, that Eminem is okay and, and yeah. Justin Timberlake Why is, is not? Why is that? I feel like Eminem has been more true to uh, to the black people that he rapped with and to. What? Going back to the Janet Jackson situation, and I know. It, it, it may. And I, I think that he... <laughs> I think that as a person, as an artist, he's had certain vo- certain values and he's also kind of expressed his sentiment about him being more popular because he does what black people do, but because he's white, he's been more successful. So if he says so he, it, I think you he's want been Justin more to say open. It. I feel like he's been more open and bow, honest bow about down. that. He wants, Justin he wants you to say bow it. down. I think I think what man would be a Eminem man? If he will, bowed I down. think Eminem will easily be like, yeah, let's give it up to uh, whoever, right? In terms of okay, so do you want who but, came before? Where Justin okay. Timberlake? I haven't so necessarily seen. So does that mean that, that every black female journalist should say, hey, let me give it up to Barbara Walters? Because because Oprah has said she looked up to Barbara Walters. Is she culture appropriating? 
No, just says she. You can respect somebody that's white that was the, done in their field. She, but she don't she you, Chris? Says, the Moors white invented that journalism. The damn thing. That's why. That's why <laughs> the Moors brought the journalism to Europe. Because because <laughs> he's done the damn thing and he didn't necessarily he didn't try to be something else. Justin wasn't trying either. First of all, Justin yeah. Timberlake dances better well, than you can. No, no, yeah, he does. But he was also <laughs> he was also a pop artist. He didn't. So what? He Every artist is a, hold on, Eminem, Eminem hold on, is a pop artist. Hold on, let's be for real. Justin Timberlake is this far from Kid Rock in this shit. First of all, Kid Rock is dope. And has uh, done. Kid Rock started. Kid Rock got his fame trying to rap and be a little more black. Not and trying then to rap. As he he got, got his fame from rapping. it. But right, he did. And when he got that. Then all of a sudden he became very anti. What about Nelly? Now he doesn't cater to that black do, audience anymore. What about anymore. Nelly? Kevin, how does that work though? What about Nelly? How, what does do you mean, how does that work? You get all your fame and then you switch, but you're still famous. It doesn't work that way. Obviously, he's no, good at the because new thing it has too. a lot to do with the audience that he catered to. And now Kid Rock caters to Ted Nugent's audience. What about Nelly? But he still has Nelly, start, Nelly started out catering to a very very urban audience only. Think, yeah. And now Nelly, I've been to Nelly concerts. And Nelly, you're right. He's on tour with a lot of white artists. And you know why? <laughs> you know why? I think he's just getting his money. Oh my God. Also, Kid Rock can't get his. Yeah, Nelly Nelly can. Just, he can culturally appropriate that's whatever, what but... That's yeah. what I'm saying. You got, you got it. You got, that's why it's rational because mm, that irrational. doesn't make sense. You're giving a pass to everyone who's black. And that I'm doesn't for make everybody sense. Black. I'm not rooting for everybody black, right. by the way. I give a pass to all the black artists who decided to do white music and they, now they're getting but their they're money. But they're not culturally appropriate. Oh, man. Because no, they're catering to a white audience, so but that, it's still a black. It's still black. Adele music. is catering to a black audience and a white audience. But Adele, she, but Adele tips her. Can head I ask you a question? Oh, how, so as long as they bow down, Adele let me ask you a question. Says, huh. That is so. Sweet. How many of Kid Rock's rap fans that you say he made him so famous mm-hmm. are his fans now? Is the Ted Nugent people? I don't know. None. He <laughs> had to build new fan base. He Nobody did. went with him to that new shit. You know they did. <laughs> they didn't. Nobody. Mm-hmm. I've nope, haven't heard a Kid Rock good, song in a, years. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. He had to rebuild his. That's who he wanted to be. He was starting from scratch. Limp Bizkit is another was, one, right? Yeah, Limp, Limp yeah, they were just more rocker. They're rockers that are cool with that, with the hip hop feel. Uh, Limp Bizkit, Maroon Five, even always do collaborations with black artists because they have that that vibe that crosses over right. very easily. I feel like I feel like the white artists that have, have have like really worked and sweated to become accepted in this culture. I have to give them a, a Justin tip Timberlake my hat has to done them. that. Yeah. Okay, sure. Beastie Boys. They were one of those, like, and Taiwan was talking about that when he was here, with, about uh, House of Pain and, like, artists like that, that, you know, they third base, right? They they had to fight to break down those barriers and say, yo, we're not trying to do so what Justin y'all Timberlake do, but we want y'all what about John B? for our legitimacy. I, I, I'm sorry. I know I should stop, but what about we John B? We saw our way off. What? Did John B culture appropriate as well? You know he's gonna say yes. He had, say, he had a song with Tupac. No. But, but he's he had a song but, with Tupac. But, but he likes John B. I don't know, B. but we like John B's. That's the thing. No, I'm you not, know. We're not together. Because John B look like Clay Thompson. <laughs> Yeah, the listeners, you know, you we, nothing, was wrong, with your, nothing was wrong with your, your podcast app, no. listeners. That was me and Crystal swallowing it the same time. Y'all don't know who Clay fuck? Thompson is now? We know who Clay Thompson is. We know who Clay Thompson Jesus is. Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so you this said, is completely you said irrational. Yes. <laughs> you said yes or no because of that? I mean, what's happening? This is completely <laughs> irrational at this point. I'm not even sure that... I, I just want him to finish this tape because I'm, I'm. They're just okay. So yes, we're or supposed no? to talk about Black Thought album too. <laughs> we, we don't have time. I don't think. Like <laughs> what? Okay, here's my Black Thought album review. It was dope. Because <laughs> it's black. I'm thinking it's going to be black. No, Black Thought. Black Thought. He didn't have no hooks, but it was all bars. Black Thought gets buried in the roots. Mm-hmm. He is a dope MC. If he were a solo artist, and you didn't say that before. What? You didn't give Black Thought any credit. You That's considered true. he was part of the roots. You did. I got to go. Oh. He, I, no, oh, I said he's part be, of the roots. I you said, be flipping. It, listen, listen to what I just said. You if be he flipping, were, man. Chris, what was I saying? If he were a solo artist. He would get more. He would, get he would, more. He would be able to be great ranked against these other artists. He can't, though, because he's, he's in the roots. A jazz band. That says rhyming words sometimes. I think the jazz. <laughs> I think they're a little bit more than a jazz. I'm band. just, come on. But, but the, the idea, though, is I'm sure that album is dope. When I heard that freestyle, who didn't, who didn't just... Give him his credit when they heard that freestyle, that funk flex freestyle. Yeah, but you we be, didn't talk about that. Mm-mm, we didn't you talk you about be flip flopping sometimes. But I, flip, like, I, I went back. Oh, last week I went back and, and looked at the tape from uh, you talking about Drake before Pussy dropped that shit. Mm-hmm. What did he say? Oh, no, no, no. I, Man. I completely sold Drake out after I heard the push. Yo. It was very quick. That's okay, Yo. though. I've never seen it happen. Would that you quickly. have stayed on Drake's he side? He dropped Drake like a hot potato. Well, well you're a I woman. Mean, did you stay on Drake's side? <laughs> 
No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nobody wanted to be on that side anymore. It was anymore. just funny because, was, oh, because it was man. like in the beginning of the show, we, we didn't have the information. And then as soon as we got he the said, Drake is a comeback <laughs> king. He's a comeback, comeback the, king. The clap back okay. king. After Pussy dropped that shit, he was like, that's man, my Drake car. need to just stop rapping. <laughs> yeah. But Pussy dropped like, Pussy, that's my car. That's, I was immediately <laughs> switching. <laughs> I switched. I don't care. Oh, said, oh like, God. Drake is the reason that light skin is back in. I am not like, ashamed. I, affected. I, just, I don't know. That, but yeah. Pussy's looking a little lighter, though, on the interviews. Have you noticed that? He's trying to maybe bleach that up. He's looking a little more light skinned. I don't think so. I don't think so. Push a dark like Michael Blackson. I'm trying to be irrational like Kevin. If he's going to be irrational, why can't I be irrational? I I don't think we've ever... That was 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 way (laughs) out. That was way out. But somewhere, Hoteps are now loving our show. I don't even think Hoteps would agree with that. Yes, they would. Oh, God. Y'all keep trying to box. I don't have to be a Hotep. You're on top. You're on top of the box. You're on standing on the box. No, we're not trying to make you. You just stretched. You just stood behind a completely irrational argument for no other reason than the fact that you're trying to prove that you're Y'all try to say everything I say is irrational. I got facts, damn it. You have facts. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, listeners, um, <laughs> viewers. Uh, you're not. You're mm-hmm. not by yourself. We're with you. Maybe I'm. No maybe I'm a little crazy. Yeah, no we, idea what's we happening. We also didn't talk about. Crazy. We didn't talk about Kim Kardashian maybe going I'm to bipolar, the, the White House awesome. either. Kim Kardashian going to the White House. So again, this is something that that. <laughs> <laughs> See how you threw us off. We didn't talk about half what? the shit we're supposed to talk about. Because I couldn't believe what was happening. <laughs> oh God! I couldn't also, believe now, what was happening. Also, now, 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 I've ruined your thoughts. You just threw us off. It was a distraction. Well, let me just, so that we can, because we have to talk about okay, it. Okay, so can, Kim can, Kardashian. Can we give Kim credit for knowing about the black struggle? Does she know black people enough to be somewhere <laughs> standing up for them and what she thinks that they need? I, I hate, say yes. I hate to say this. I, I hate to say it after I just said I felt like she was authentically standing up for her husband. I feel like it was a PR stunt because of all the negative backlash they've been getting. I feel like, She's going to visit with President Trump to plead prison reform for this black grandmother who was accused of selling a drug situation. It was, it was basically, you know, had a sentence that would keep her there for the rest of her life. Now, Trump did invite other people to the White House because Meek Mill was invited and Jay-Z <laughs> suggested that he hey, not honey. go. Um, but the point is, so I'm, I'm not saying that, that Kim was the only person that went. There were other people that were invited. But I feel like Kim went, and that picture was all a publicity stunt that Trump feeds into because he likes to continue to be popular. You know, mm-hmm. they're sitting there smiling. Right. And Kim Kardashian, I think that with everything going on, with her going back and forth about Donda's house and all that, she's very good at understanding how to play the media. I think this was a, a PR stunt to get to, you know, to make people be like, oh, she is really... In the fight, and, so and I it's don't think timing. it was genuine. Yeah, I, you know yes. what? I don't think it I'm was genuine. I'm gonna say this: I, I I can't believe I'm about to say this, but black people got to embrace Kim Kardashian. She I'm embraced not, black I'm, people. I'm st- I'm not I'm not doing this. She's I'm had a lot this. of black in her mouth. She's embraced black. We have to. She's taking care of Kanye. Are you being a hypocrite? Kanye, yo, he not you. Oh, hey. you're true to form. What? Right, you are a Thanks. hypocrite. No, like you're a hypocrite. No, Kim is in an interracial relationship, and she's got black children. So does Rachel Dozal. She's trying to <laughs> damn no, you. Don't stop there. Keep keep the same energy. Okay. Keep the same energy. <laughs> we, touche. Touche. Okay. You bastard. <laughs> that was a good one. Right. Yeah. He, he, he was did quick. zing me with that one. He did. Shit, His hotel took a hit. Like, did oh, you see that she just got? She's, she's got black daughters, and she's got this this side of her family. Right. She grew up this way, but now she's got this family to deal with. <laughs> And she's trying to reconcile some of those things. Okay. And she's becoming more informed mm. on that black experience. Because of her children? Not only that, but Kanye mm. himself. Clearly, he's a bit to handle. So I would like to do a public service announcement and let everyone know that Hoteps have now included the white or non-black <laughs> spouses of anyone who is black who is dealing with a person of another race. But check we this out. We are now welcoming Hotel. you, what are you into doing? the I black speak community. For all tips I'm now. just making sure that people oh, know God. that we're we're Man. embracing Kim Kardashian and all the other non-black white spouses or girlfriends <laughs> or significant others of uh-huh. anyone involved. So Rachel, so anyone wait, 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 wait. wait. Is so what you're telling in. me, what you're telling me is that you have white people in your family that you don't accept? Of course, I, I, I don't say that because I don't claim to be a hotep. I, I think I accept all people. Of course, I have, most of us have people, I, 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 white people. No, I, I, of course, of us, of course, most of us have white people in our family. Okay, so they family. Amen. 
I bet Justin Timberlake it, does. It's unfortunate. <laughs> if if Justin Timberlake <laughs> married a black woman and now had black kids, maybe I say he's that supposed is. to. He's supposed to be at the. Picnic. We got a big family because there's a lot of <sighs> white people that have that have been with black right. people. Right, so and now, it's a lot of white so people that fight. I said this last in, time. It's white people that 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 fight the black struggle and actually know some what's going oh, you, on. Oh, you think? Hell. Hell. Abolitionists? <laughs> but that helped not, with slavery? Like, right. When I said Jane Elliott last time, y'all looked at me like I had a third I just didn't head. know who it no, was. Because it was because of what you said that was the only person that should have been involved in the conversation. That was why we were yeah, like, Yeah, they had what? to get the training. <laughs> like, I didn't even know who the person She's the was. only one that, that could, could have done that. Okay, no, if you're if you're including and welcoming, you're extending an a, a invitation to all whites. Man. Because that's quite a few white folks. That's pretty much every... White star in Hollywood has slept with well, a black, hey, well, a check, popular black but guy. But I, I ain't talking about the Bill Maher shit where you just slept with one. And, mm, you gotta, you know, you gotta be, you, gotta, you gotta have kids. some skin in the game. Superhead you, got some skin off him. You, oh, Bill Maher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got some. skin They could probably right. create a whole new Bill Maher out of her mouth. He's dating a lot of black women. But uh, and, and yeah, you can't just you can't just use and, and think you to you. Mm, How is that's he not using? Not fair. If he dates a black woman, he's using her. Oh my God! Maybe. Well, he you guys, so the thing he okay. don't have enough skin in the game. It, oh a baby God. is the skin. Bill Maher don't have enough. Is skin Is a baby in the, game. the skin? Okay, it's literally some skin. Now we realize that a lot of times. Well, I'm, I'm not even gonna go there. You're that's asking him to dig himself to. into a ditch that's he's a, already yeah, in. That's a good he's place to struggling sit. to get I think out that's of this ditch. No, I'm uh, struggling a damn thing. It's what it is. Okay. okay. Well, you want to tell our viewers and listeners <laughs> to like, share, and subscribe, or how do you want to do this? Thank you for watching. Music, love, life. When you get the opportunity, look on online to YouTube, Facebook, and other forms of social media and find Music Love Life Show. Like, share, and subscribe. Crystal, is he culturally Thanks. appropriating white dialogue? He did. From a, he a really did. Or something? I don't know why he did, did that. I, I, I culturally appropriated like the was... white aesthetic. <laughs> I did the, the Eddie Murphy white voice. He did. He something did. like that. I just, and I, I'm sorry. Mom, I know every, every black I know comedian like, has share, a white subscribe, character. But I would like to ask you one other question because. Kim Kardashian has one of the wealthiest black men in the world. Mm -hmm. So her skin in the game is not that difficult. Good point. But she, so, has, she has black children now. Yeah, I know. That but gonna, a lot of, she has black children that are, are going to have a different white, experience. There are a lot of white had. women that would be happy to have black children if their black children were going to be by a very rich black man. Are we still, is that still your, yeah, I mean, that's, Kanye is kind of separate from the average black man, right? But we're welcoming in women that have an agenda to be with a very wealthy man. I just want to make sure you're cool with that. Because, you know, I don't know I don't know if this was only for... Are you trying to get me to say that it's okay for white women to marry wealthy black men? Nope. I, he's, he's trying to get you to... I'm, that, just, I'm just asking you... you trying to, I'm asking trying you, to, have you taken into consideration it's, it's, before it you welcome like them? Bait. No. Yeah. <laughs> but before you welcomed everybody in, I just want you to consider that it may not be so much about being excited about the black experience as it is about the fact of... Which black it is? Well, I just want I you mean, to consider let me that because I've heard a lot of people say, "Oh, we're canceling, Con we're trading Kanye in the racial draft, all that." We hey, did. man, look, we're not we're not getting rid of Kanye. I'm not giving all those beats away to white Stacey folks. Stacey Dash either. No, let's keep her too. No, I want to keep Stacey. But Stacey Dash, we may not like Stacey Dash, everybody. but she's still one of ours, right? How about this, Damon Dash? If you're black, you're fucking black. You can't not be black because you say something. What is that, Damon Dash? What? You can't be not black because you have a different right. opinion. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, you're still black. We don't necessarily have to like or agree with your ass, but you still want our ass. But why is it that we, we like your ass why despite it, the crazy shit that you say? Well, no, and that, we also like anyone that you sleep with and happen to get pregnant as long as you... And we are okay if it, if you strategically got a black guy that has a lot of money, you know, pregnant. We're, we're okay with that. Drake's new baby mama. The rest of my PSA is that Sophie is now welcomed into the Hope Step community because she has a black baby. Well, blackish. Blackish. But I mean, same as Kim and, and Kanye. One same drop. same amount of black. Mm. Well, not really because nah, Drake, is, nah, so, Drake is, half, is so, half Jewish and half black. She got a, she got a black child now, uh, I guess. welcome her. But at the same time, the, she welcome also... Welcome Sophie. Welcome her in. Well, okay. So, but she, I need to see her step up on some social issues. See, okay. She did that be that. Music love she life. Had, Music love life. <laughs>